Hi Virgo, welcome to a new series that I'm doing for you guys. Um, you know, I just received so many wonderful messages from people letting me know that I've been able to help them through parts or even all of their journey. So I really wanted to start working with you guys and taking a look at the mind, the body and the soul and looking at how spirituality really fits in into our physical, emotional, and mental body. So I want to do this for you each month. And what I'm going to do is pull from the Native American Healing Oracle deck, which is an absolutely beautiful deck. And I know some of you have seen this deck. And we're going to start off with this and I'll add additional oracle cards, tarot cards, etc. But this is going to be all about a group of you and what they want you to know. So from the Native American Healing Oracle, 26 Moonflower. Isn't that beautiful artwork? And I am going to read to you from the book. Give me one quick second. Uh, because the verbiage that comes with these mandalas are equally as beautiful. So number 26 Moonflower, excelling under pressure, stepping out of the darkness, an unexpected awakening. The owl within this mandala is a starlight being who appears to those longing to understand and utilize their gifts at a deeper level. This owl calls out to the moonflower to remind you of the light you radiate within the darkness. The moonflower is a beautiful flower whose white petals glow in the dark. It can only be seen in full bloom at night and represents those that shine brightest in the darkness. This mandala comes as a reminder that you are a beacon of light amongst the darkness, a darkness that is only seeking to be loved. So, wow look at that you guys and i know some of you feel it you feel that calling you know you know you have a spiritual path that is actually meant to help people in a spiritual way like truly in a spiritual path for others of you this is you really taking the career the direction of life that you're going and recognize that every experience along the way Everything that felt dark to you was to open you up so you can lead other people through those type of situations. The owl is about wisdom. And that's what happens when we go through these experiences. We become wise. We become leaders amongst many. So people look up to the wise old owl, right? So what I'm gonna do now is pull from the whispers of love oracle deck and we're going to take a look at how because these are equally beautiful messages but we're going to see how it really ties in with moon flower you know you guys might even be seeing owls around honestly now you you need to make sure that you look up all meanings to any kind of animal that you see on a regular basis they can have different meanings as well but the owl really is about wisdom right so the message that they want you to know from the whisper of love oracle appreciate this moment each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love there you go that completely look at the beauty of this oh my god these are just brilliant that completely ties into this appreciate the darkness because the darkness is what makes us get into the light that's what makes us step into our true inner wisdom our true who we're meant to be okay now I'm going to follow up with some tarot and then at the end I'll post an additional advice card for you. So we have the Six of Cups. Okay. Yeah. 
we have the six of cups we have the three of heart of of hearts the three of swords ten of cups and you got an extra one the three of wands so you know some of you definitely have been triggered you were hurt you were betrayed by somebody that you felt this incredible connection to for some of you this was family situation where you've been healing a family situation, whether it's your personal family or your original family that you were born, you grew up with. This is all about the happiness and joy you have in relationships and really using the inner wisdom from all the pain you've experienced throughout your entire life. Some of you have been waiting for this opportunity to step into your true spiritual path and when I say that, I mean guiding people, helping people. Some of you, maybe you're supposed to do a blog, a blog about wisdom that's going to help people heal their own family situations, their own aspects of what they view as the darkness. Really stepping out and stepping into and because you appreciate it. You know, when we pull the lesson, there's always something there. There's always something with every person and every experience that comes into our lives. It can be being patient. It can be not being around people who hurt us. It just, there's a multi, I know that that's really vague, but you know what I mean? There's a multitude of different reasons, lessons, and I always view the swords, and I know it can be very negative, but I view these swords in the tarot because of the messages that I hear and see for you all. These are more about lessons, right? The thought. It is the thought process in a negative capacity that has the power to turn the situation into a lesson rather than a painful experience. And that's where this wisdom comes in, you guys. And you've been waiting. Some of you, this was a soulmate that may have hurt you. But you're wise enough to know that someday, when the time is right, when they come out of their dark place, that's when they're going to return. Now, one of the things I'd really like for you guys to consider is learning about energy. How it flows up and down and in and out and around us, how we're able to connect to each other through energy, how we can take this energy in our mind and turn things around, not just in our mind, but in our physical reality, in our family situation, bringing our, our, our love back to us, starting with ourselves, and really healing the situation in you, right? Letting go of this. So if you'd like to learn about energies and about chakras, I have heard you guys and I made a video for you. To give you a better understanding, it is, uh, it's very inexpensive. It's under $20, it's like $19 or something. But it will definitely help you in this area and enlighten you and some of you because you are meant to go that direction that may be the beginning stage for you where you had this feeling since childhood you were meant to go a different direction you've been waiting for the call waiting for the angels to go knock 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 this may be the knock that you've been waiting for so let's go ahead and pull an additional advice card for you Exactly what we're talking about growth I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness I want to I want to because I understand that darkness is what's going to create the wisdom and the wisdom is creating the life that you want the wisdom is going to help you propel forward in your life in whatever area of your life that it's meant to but definitely stepping out of the old and, and having that knowledge, that wisdom to actually create your own happy home, right? 
massive healing in a situation for some of you. So very beautiful energy. There's a lot of growth. And over the next 30 days, I do feel you guys, there is a lot of us, a lot of us that are going to feel an energy shift if you didn't already. And you may even do too. But it is coming over the next 30 days. Some of you may have actually felt the, the cycle shift when uh, we moved into Libra, or when the moon just changed over too. So pay attention to that, because that is part of that wisdom. That's part of your growth. And coming out of the darkness, you can begin to see how the cycles begin to work, right? So if you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in a month. Much love.